to knock our head here, aka brother with Julian. Brother and sister, we turn our Bibles to Ephesians chapter 1. We'll be looking at verses 1 to 3. And it reads, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God to the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace be unto you. Peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings and heavenly praises in Christ Jesus. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admonition, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man can ever possess. <laughs> this is the word of God, my brothers. And we serve a good God. <laughs> and his name is Jesus. Praise the Lord. <laughs> The Apostle Paul writes this powerful letter to the people of Ephesus. He starts off by addressing himself and then who he's addressing to, the, the, the beautiful saints in Ephesus. And then he tells them that they are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in our Lord, our Savior, and soon to come King Jesus Christ. And as we take a synoptic look, a synoptic overview of this beautiful letter. We're going to see great, beautiful, powerful principles and truth that the, 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 the readers uh, 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 of this beautiful letter will, will, will gain. And, and, and when we think about the, the, in, the, in the first chapter, again, he opens up by telling the readers that, that they are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. In Christ Jesus and he carries this great truth in the 18th verse of chapter 1 where he says that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that ye may and this is the reader that ye may know what the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance of the saints and so this riches of glory it, he, he's setting up the reader to know their wealth who, who their wealth that they have in Christ Jesus he says, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us, all, to us, to us word. And watch this, to who believe this great exceeding power that's going to come to them and to them that believe. And then watch this, according to the working of his mighty power. And, and how, and what, what's the Apostle Paul, again, with this wealth. That the, that the reader, the wealth, that, the, that the, those who have faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How, how, what's the understanding that, that, that's to open up to? Watch what the Apostle Paul writes in verse 20. He says in, in Ephesians chapter 1, which he, this is God, wrought in Christ Jesus. And, and how did he do that? When God raised our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, from the dead and set him in his own right hand in heavenly places. So when so so the, open your eyes, open your imaginations to this to, to this great truth that when Christ was raised from the dead by our Father and seated at the right hand, watch this, and, 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 and where positionally he says far above all principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world but the world to come, and this is the wealth. This is the, 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 the blessing of all spiritual blessings and heavenly places of Christ Jesus that coming to the place that open up your your, 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 your your understandings to this great truth, to this powerful principle. And then watch this in the second chapter. Again, we're, we're thinking about this wealth that he's, he, he's speaking about. And in uh, Ephesians chapter two, verse four, listen to what the. The Apostle Paul is reminding the reader, he says, but God, and this is our Abba Father, watch this, who is rich in mercy. He is rich in mercy, rich in not giving you what you deserve. He's going to withhold the bad that you deserve, and he's rich in that. And watch this, watch how he compliments this. For his great love, mm, hey, woo, his great love, God's love for you, his great love wherewith he loved us. So how does our Abba Father love us? With great love. And, and, and he's rich in withholding the bad that we deserve and, and, and not getting this bad that we deserve because he's rich in mercy. And then watch this. Even when we were dead in our sins, 
God's not good to us because we're good. God's good to us because he's good. If we have to be good to get God to love us, then he never loves us. But praise be to God for God, our Abba Father, who is rich in mercy and, 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 and with his great love where he has loved us. And then, and then watch this. Watch this. Watch this. This is, this is awesome. And, 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 and even when we were dead in our sin, he has quickened us together with Christ. And by grace are you saved. His, and that grace speaks about he's giving us the good that we don't deserve. He's rich in mercy by withholding the bad that we deserve. And by grace that we save, he's giving us the good that we don't deserve, which is salvation. And then watch this. And have raised us up together. And then we saw he's raised us up together. Just the way he raised up, God raised up his son from the dead and, and seated him in the right hand in heavenly places and far above principalities, far above power, far above might, far above dominion, far above every name that is named in, in this world and the world to come. And he and look what look what, what God does. He, he he has raised us together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And so we see our wealth in the first two chapters of this beautiful epistle letter. And then in the third chapter, the, the Apostle Paul now works on wisdom that we get. The wisdom. Now, in the first chapter of Ephesians, we see that it's kind of like a carryover, the, the, this wisdom. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 8, it says, Wherein he hath abound towards us all wisdom. And oh, shit, God, I'm about to stop. <laughs> Woo! All wisdom and prudence. And then watch this. Verse 17 of Ephesians chapter 1. That God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory. And the Father of glory is that glory speaks about his good opinion of us. He is the Father of his good opinion of us, that he loves us. He loves us with a great love. He's rich in mercy. The Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. And, and that, that knowledge of him, when you get that wisdom, that's the wisdom how much God loves you. How much God's forgiven you of all your sins and, 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 and you're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus at the eyes of your understanding open to this great truth. And then watch this. How does now this manifest in the third chapter, the wisdom, because we got the first two chapters, the, the wealth. And now we have the third chapter, the, the, the wisdom. And watch this in Ephesians chapter three, verse 10. It says this to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers. And remember. We are far above principalities and power because Christ is far above principalities, powers, might, and dominion, and every name that is named on the earth, to, in the world, in this world, in the world to come. We are far above, and in heavenly places might be known by the church. When it was the church, that's the body of Christ. That's us. That's the believers. The manifold wisdom of God. We're going to, our eyes of our understanding will be open to the manifold wisdom of God. The manifold wisdom, how much he loves us, how much he, he saves us, how much he's forgiven us of all sin, and all the, the, the attributes and characteristics and nature and, and the heart of God was going to be at our disposal. And so the, 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 the fourth chapter of this beautiful thing now, because we saw the, the wealth in the first two chapters. Then, then we see the wisdom in the third chapter. And now with the fourth chapter, we're going to see the walk. Because now that we have the wealth and we've got the wisdom, now we can walk in this in this wealth and this wisdom. <laughs> in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1, watch what the Apostle Paul says. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk. Hey. When you know this, the, your, 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 the, the, how wealthy you are in the Lord and, and the wisdom that you have. Now walk in this. You know, in Colossians chapter 2, verse 6, the Apostle Paul put it this way. Since you have received Christ Jesus, the Lord, walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. And so he says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1, he says, walk. Let me read it again. The idea for the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of you're the vocation wherewith ye are called because you know the, you, your wealth, you know your wisdom. That's what you call. And he gives seven powerful points in this chapter about walking. And the seven points, and remember, seven is God's divine number. He says that you are one body. 
you're one body in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We all one body in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We're all collective believers. And then one body, one spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. And then one hope. That's that favorable, confident expectation of good. One body, one spirit, one hope, one Lord, our Lord, our Savior, and soon to come in King Jesus Christ. One faith. And that faith is believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's the faith. The, 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 the righteousness is by faith, by righteousness, by, by faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Abraham in the, the Genesis chapter 15, verse 6, he believed the Lord and it was counted for him as righteous. That's the faith. And then watch this. Then one baptism. You know, when I was in this cult called the Church of Christ, they would gaslight and bewitch the people and make them thinking that it was, oh, the water baptism. But I want you to know. That this great man of God, the prophet John the Baptist, in Matthew chapter 3, verse 11, in Mark chapter 1, verse 8, and in Luke chapter 3, verse 16, he said to those who are listening, he said, I, I, I baptize you with water and, uh, 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 unto repentance. But there be one that's going to come that ain't even worthy to, to tie up his shoelaces or, 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 or tie up his sandals or, what, you know, or latch up his eyes. But there's one that I'm not even worthy to do that who's going to come after me. And he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And that fire is going to burn up everything that's bad in us and negative in us. And then the Holy Ghost is going to come and take up residence. And that is, is, is what we're to walk in. And so we, we want, so it's one body, one spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith. One baptism, and that's baptism by the Holy Spirit when you believe on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and then uh, one, 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 and then one God, one God, and that's our Abba Father. And watch this: He is above all. He is uh, He is above all. He is He is of all, above all, through all, and in us all. <laughs> Which goes back. To, to, the, to the wealth and to the wisdom and and, and, and and now we walk in this great truth. And then in the fifth chapter it, 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 it's, a, it's a chapter where the Apostle Paul now gives gentle advice and admissions to, the, to your whole hearted welfare in, 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 in your life. And he addresses things like when you, um, uh, you, 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 you avoid the, the, the bad and, and do the good because now that you know that you've got this wealth in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you've got this wisdom in, in, in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you now you could walk in this great truth and, 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 and then you, you could now have this uh, uh, it'd be admonished by the whole hearted welfare in your life. He, he's discussing things like uh, advice to to uh, wives and husbands. He's uh, uh, advices to 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 children and their parents, and then also even to employees and then employers. And so we, we see that now covered in in the fifth chapter, and then it spills over into the sixth chapter, and then and then in the sixth chapter we see that now he's going to address warfare. So we we got the first two chapters, we've got our wealth in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In the third chapter, we have our 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 our, our wisdom in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In the fourth chapter, we have the 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 the, the walk. Then the fifth chapter, spilling over to the, the sixth chapter, we have our, our everyday welfare, you know, the wholesome, wholehearted welfare in, that navigates us through lives, every area, every aspect, every area, every arena, every affair of our lives, and then finally warfare. And if we pick that up in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, now watch what it says. Finally, <laughs> when you got all those other attributes, your, your, your wealth, wisdom, the, the walk and, 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 and how to carry out in your welfare. Now, it's warfare. And watch this. It says in Ephesians chapter 6, <laughs> verse 10. Finally, my veterans, 
be strong in the Lord. You can be strong when you know all these great truths. And in the power of his might. And put on the whole armor of God. That he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You're going to be able to stand against the wiles of the devils. All his temptations. All his um, enticements. All his, his falsehoods. All, all, the, all, all, the, all those things that he's going to try to tr uh, trip you up. Well, uh, whether it be uh, deceptions or, or enticements or, or, or falsehoods for, for, uh, or, or, or any kind of allurement that he's going to, you're going to be able to stand against the wise of the earth. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. And remember, remember, we are far above for principalities and powers. If that, that's part of our wealth. That's the wisdom now that now we've acquired. We're, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness of this world, against the spiritual wickedness in high places. And remember, we are far above uh, principalities, powers, mights, dominions, and, and every spiritual uh, 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 spiritual places that that and, and, and every name that has a name because w whether it's in this world or the world to come so when we look at our, our warfare oh man now when we could be able to walk and, and, and be able to navigate through our welfare watch this wherefore take on to you the whole armor of god because you're ready for warfare you can stand watch this that ye may be able to withstand ha! withstand the evil day and it's going to be temporary. Ain't, there's no, the Apostle Paul doesn't say days. He said evil days. It's temporary. And having done all to stand. Stand therefore. Having your loins girt with the truth of having on the breastplate of righteousness. And then all the other armaments of that whole, uh, of the, uh, of the, uh, of, 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 for the uh, warfare. All the armaments. The, the belt of truth. Breathless of righteousness, the, the the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, the 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 helmet of salvation, and then praying all the time, praying which is part of that wealth warfare. And because why? Because you've got that wealth in in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You have that wisdom in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You could now walk. In these great truths, you can now navigate through any well, the welfare in your life, and also you have that warfare now in your life because you find my brothers and sisters be strong in the Lord. You are strong in the Lord and the power of His might, and 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 you are going to more than able to withstand. The, the wiles of the devil when you come to this realization, this acceptance, and this recognition of who you are <laughs> in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his constantly. May the Lord give you peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And I to him that is able to keep you from fault and present you for us in the presence of his glory. Both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forever. Praise the Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, 2020. 2020. 2020 believing the perfect vision. King Jehoshaphat said to the people, Believe the Lord your God and be established. Be established that it was welfare that you have in him, of, of, of his, the wealth that you have in him, the, the, the warfare that you, you can stand against the enemy, the wisdom that you now have in, in, in Christ Jesus through, by, by, by way of Abba, by, the, the wisdom that you have by God, by Abba Father. So yeah, well again, let's say it again. <laughs> Lord. Well, you got it. Far above principalities and powers. Uh, wisdom. You've got now God's wisdom. God's wisdom that he's, God is rich in mercy and he loves you with a great love. Now you can walk in that. Walk in that. Well, the every area, every avenue of your life, you now you can have the wholesome, wholehearted welfare. Why? It's because you find my brethren, you can be strong in the Lord. You are strong in the Lord. You got that warfare. Be established in God. 
and believe the Lord, his prophets that are preaching the gospel of grace. And what's going to happen? <laughs> You're going to prosper. Praise the Lord. God bless. <laughs> Agape love. <laughs>